average dude has something to say about ladies and gentlemen it is time to put an end to this uh discussion this fiasco that has been called dongle gate i mean oh my god ladies stop parading adria richards like she is a champion she is a wolf in sheep's clothing who has been attacked by other wolves i all I, I keep seeing all these articles or anything coming from a female writer or journalist or reporter they always except for one one they all fail to mention adria richards making disgusting degrading penis jokes on march 14th on her twitter feed while she was there at PyCon, just like the guys were on the 17th. She was making dick jokes, and then a couple days later, she is offended by them? Why? Because it's guys talking about their own body part, and she wasn't the one, a woman, making a comment about a body part that she doesn't have? Why is that acceptable? Ladies, you've got to be kidding me. This whole situation upstaged the Steubenville, Ohio bit. This poor girl uh, went to a party. She got raped, humiliated by these butthole football players, and they were so stupid and vain, they took pictures, they flung it up for the world to see. They basically gave the courts all the proof they ever needed to bust the balls, and they still got off so easy. And you know what? Even after that, even female, like uh, like on Fox Channel, the women, uh, news anchors, were, it was blaming the victim. You don't blame the victim. I mean, okay, fine. She should not have been at a party that late, but that never, ever justifies Attacks, sexual, physical humiliation and attacks. It never justifies it. It's not okay. What Adria Richards did to these guys is not okay, ladies. It's not okay to humiliate and attack. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, taking pictures and all that. I, I'm so tired of hearing we're blaming the victims. That girl is still a, she's a victim. She's had death threats. That poor girl. Hey, and these guys, uh, they, they, it wasn't smart. Just like it wasn't smart for the girl to go to a party that late. You know, it's everything that your parents tell you not to do. It still doesn't justify it. And these guys, it, it was, it was foolish to, to be comfortable enough to make jokes among themselves, but for this horrendous vindictive woman to go on a rampage and ruin their lives and the lives of their families and kids, it's ridiculous. I've, oh, Amanda Bloom has made it very clear, you'll see the links below, that Adria Richards is not laudable. But then there are you members of you female, God, Gail McDowell goes on and defends her and Oh, well, Amanda Bloom was on a selfish, uh, driven quest. That may be, but again, Gail McDowell, if you happen to be watching this, you did not mention that Adria Richards made sexist dick comments on the March 14th. Stop ignoring that. It's not okay. It is not okay for a man to make disgusting comments about a woman's vagina and reproductive situation and then a couple days later take pictures and humiliate women for discussing feminine issues and then humiliate them because that is the same thing in reverse it would be inexcusable why is it okay for Adria it's disgusting I've mentioned my own past here I was abused by my mom and grandma I on bar stools, I'd get knocked off, hit in the face, and I would, I'd be so afraid of the fall. The paddle, no paddle, kitchen utensils. And I, they were always careful not to hit the eye, you know, black eyes, because that was harder to explain. But nose, oh, I had so many bloody noses. Do you realize what it's like to go to other adults and constantly explain when you're a child 
boy child, girl child, it doesn't matter. People who have been abused will understand this, whether they're boys or girls or whatnot. They get this, what I'm about to say. Do you realize what it's like to make excuses? I had to make excuses for my mom. Oh, well, I have a weak nose, allergies. And the other adults that I would tell this to, the people in the community, oh, they bought it. And you know what? It, 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 many years later, when I was an adult, much older, I realized they knew. They knew. And they bought my pathetic uh, story protecting my mom. We need to stop doing that. Little girls should not be abused by their fathers and their mothers sit on the side like cowards not protecting their daughters. And people in the community should not be believing that daddy is a perfect uh, virtue of man. He's not. When a, when a man abuses his daughter and when a mother abuses her son. And the father, in my case, the father didn't know he was a coward. And the community and other family members bought into and they knew better. This is not okay. Some people that get abused, they become that problem. Anyone in abused who don't become the problem, they understand what I'm talking about. They, oh my God. Adria Richards was a wolf. The wolf doesn't get to attack and then cry wolf. She made sexist comments and it's not okay for her to be the one to cry out sexism. Uh, over a body part she doesn't have. I, God, everybody, man, woman, male, female, white, black, and everything in between, gay, straight, we need to all address our badly behaved uh, members of our, each of our groups. Don't support them. That just promotes bad behavior. I mean, ladies... A lot of you either have children or are going to have children. And many and those some of those children are going to be boys, male. Is that really what you're going to do with your boy children? You're going to tell them that they're, it's their fault because when they're born? That's what happened to me. And it's more common than we care to admit. It was, oh, see, son, you deserve it because of what happened uh, back in the day. No, I never did deserve it. Nobody ever deserves it. But now let's talk about Anonymous and all that crap.